So you want to design a 3D print, especially something with stairs like this one, but you don't want to have to sketch every little single step. How do you build this? Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today, talking mainly about how do we build these stairs. So one of the simpler ways I found to solve this was to use pattern on path. Let's check it out. My goal was to have a one inch height, a one inch depth total, and a one inch width, right? So this is a one inch cube, and then we have these nice little stairways, and then we have it shelled out. So we can put, um, this is for my wife. She wants to put some succulents inside a little 3D print. So the first step is just this rectangular block at the beginning. This is pretty simple. Um, I did it a height of 0 0.033, or actually I was saying that I want to do uh, 30 of these over one inch. So one divided by 30, and that gives me uh, 0 0.033, I believe. Yeah, 0 0.033. Okay, so that's my first step, right? And now what I want to do is pattern all of these at... Um, creating that stairway effect. So what I'm going to do is start a sketch and sketch the path that I want to do. And I'm going to have it go up at an angle. And I want it to be, you know, one inch tall. So one inch. This is vertical. And this should be construction. This is the path I want to follow. And I'm going to put a, a reference dimension on just from so I know how long it is. 1.414. That's the path distance. Great. Okay. So the first step that we want to pattern is right here. And it's 0.033. And I want to do it along that diagonal distance. And I'd like for there to be 30 total steps. So I'll go to my pattern on path. I'm going to choose the body. This is the body. And I'm going to follow this path. As I just kind of play with it, you can see what it's doing. It's solving along those. And I want 30. Let's look at that first. There's 30 over a total distance of an extent of 1.414. Okay. Now it is ex extending beyond by one and there's a little bit of a gap. So maybe I want 31 total, but I'm, I should start from, you know, after this reference block. So I could adjust my start point or I can just suppress that. And that should give us a total of 30 if we include the original after that one. Since I'm suppressing that one, we'll hit OK. Looks like they're solving. Great. And if I do a combine, I want this target body and I want all the rest of the bodies. I'm going to join them together and they, they're all one body. Great. How do we get rid of this extra stuff right here that we don't need for those stairways? We'll start a sketch down here on the top face, or top plane, excuse me. And I'm going to do a rectangle starting at this end point. There we go. We're going to extrude it up. This is a cut. I'm going to cut it all the way through. Instead of distance, all the way through. Great. Cuts that away. Awesome. There's our stairways. And we're pretty much done. We'll start a sketch right here to finish off um, this planter. So we're going to come to the edge, do a rectangular sketch. I know that this distance is one. I know from here to here should be one. And now we'll extrude that up. Now one little tricky part here is I'd like to shell this out. So rather than uh, join it together just yet, um, I could do a new body, hit shell, and I want to cut this out. I want to leave a little wall thickness so that we can put a plant inside. And now we have it shelled. Looks great. Um, these are not joined yet, the stairs to the body. So I'm going to hit combine. 
select this body and this body and join them together after the fact. And now we've got a planter for our 3D printer using mainly pattern on path. Hey, if you're looking for other pattern videos, check these out. I'll see you in the next video.